Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about cardiac enzymes. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the session. The learning objectives which we will be discussing in this session are what is cardiac markers or cardiac enzymes? What is cardiac marker test? What are the indications of cardiac marker test? What are the commonly used cardiac markers and the enzyme levels? Let's get into the session. What do we mean by cardiac enzymes? Cardiac enzymes are otherwise called cardiac markers or cardiac biomarkers. Cardiac enzymes are specific proteins or enzymes that are released into the bloodstream when there is damage or necrosis or injury to the cardiac muscle following a myocardial infarction and other conditions. The timing of the release can vary depending on the specific enzyme and the extent of the heart muscle damage. Next is cardiac marker test. So what happens is after heart muscle damage, certain enzymes are released into the bloodstream. In order to monitor the level of enzyme, cardiac marker test is used. Cardiac marker tests or blood tests, which is used to measure specific proteins, hormones, or enzymes in the bloodstream that can indicate heart muscle damage or other cardiac related conditions. Now comes indications of cardiac marker test. First is chest pain. In patients with chest pain without a known cause, Cardiac marker tests will be done along with ECG and other investigations, mainly to determine whether heart muscle damage is present, confirming the cardiac causes. Next is diagnosis of acute coronary syndrome. Cardiac marker test helps to diagnose acute coronary syndrome, which includes conditions like myocardial infarction and unstable angina. These tests help confirming the presence of heart muscle damage and distinguish between the different types of cardiac events. Next is monitoring heart failure. These markers aid in assessing the severity of heart failure, monitoring the response to treatment and predicting the outcomes. Next is post-coronary intervention. After angioplasty or stenting, Cardiac marker test is done in order to identify any complications such as procedure-related heart muscle damage. Next is treatment prognosis. Monitoring changes in cardiac marker levels help healthcare professionals assess the effectiveness of interventions and guide the ongoing management. Next is commonly used cardiac markers. This includes troponin, creatinine kinase that is CK, myoglobin, BNP that is B-type natriuretic peptide and NT-pro-BNP that is N-terminal pro-B-type natriuretic peptide, C-reactive protein that is CRP, lactate dehydrogenase LDH and aspartate aminotransferase that is AST. First, let's discuss about Troponin. Troponin is primarily found in cardiac muscle tissue and it is a complex of proteins involved in the regulation of muscle contraction in the heart. Troponin plays a main role in regulating muscle contraction. Next is isoforms of troponin. This refers to different subunits of the troponin complex found in the muscle tissue. In cardiac muscle, there are three main isoforms of troponin. They are troponin C, troponin I, and troponin T. Each isoform has a specific function and plays a crucial role in regulating muscle contraction. Troponin I and troponin T are the two isoforms commonly measured in clinical practice. Because troponin C is present in both skeletal and cardiac muscles, whereas Troponin T and troponin I are found only in the myocardium. Next is normal range of troponin levels. Generally, 
the cardiac marker levels may depend varying on specific assay used. So follow the laboratory values or the institutional policies for the normal ranges. Normal troponin levels are typically very low or undetectable in healthy individuals. The normal range of troponin I is less than 0.04 nanogram per milliliter. And the normal range of troponin T is typically less than 0.01 nanogram per milliliter. The release of troponin into the bloodstream typically starts within a few hours after the onset of heart muscle damage and continue for several days. Troponin level generally rise within 3 to 6 hours after myocardial damage. Troponin I peaks in 14 to 20 hours with a return to baseline in 5 to 7 days, whereas troponin T peaks in 12 to 24 hours with a return to baseline in 10 to 15 days. The next cardiac marker is creatinine kinase CK, also known as creatinine phosphokinase CPK. Creatinine kinase is an enzyme found in various tissues including the heart, brain, skeletal muscles and other organs. Creatinine kinase plays a vital role in energy metabolism. The isoforms of creatinine kinase includes CKMM which is associated with skeletal muscle, CKMB which is associated with cardiac muscle and CKBB which is associated with brain tissue. CKMB plays a vital role in muscle contraction. Elevated levels of CKMB reliably indicates acute myocardial infarction. However, CKMB have become less common in clinical when compared to other cardiac markers such as troponin I and troponin T for diagnosing and evaluating heart muscle damage. So, after a cardiac muscle damage, the CK total and CKMB level starts to raise with an onset from 4 to 6 hours. CK total reaches its peak in 24 hours, whereas CKMB peaks in 15 to 20 hours. And both CK total and CKMB return to normal in 2 to 3 days. The next cardiac marker is myoglobin. Myoglobin is a protein found in muscle tissues, including skeletal and cardiac muscle. It plays a crucial role in storing and transporting oxygen within the muscle cells. Myoglobin is released into the bloodstream when ischemia, trauma and inflammation of the muscle occurs. Myoglobin level rise within 1-3 to three hours after cardiac injury peak within 4 to 12 hours and return to baseline by 24 hours. The myoglobin levels can be helpful in the early detection of muscle damage, including myocardial infarction. Myoglobin levels rise rapidly after the onset of muscle injury, making it one of the earliest markers to detect muscle damage. However, myoglobin is less specific when compared to other cardiac specific markers such as troponin. The next cardiac marker is BNP, B type natriuretic peptide. BNP is a hormone polypeptide released by the ventricles of the heart in response to increased stretching or stress on the heart muscle. The main function of BNP is to help regulate blood pressure and fluid balance by promoting vasodilation and diuresis. Normal BNP level is less than 100 picograms per milliliter. A quick diagnosis of heart failure in patients who present with dyspnea is important in order to begin appropriate treatment early. When BNP level is greater than 100 picogram per milliliter, it is abnormal the higher the number, the more likely heart failure is present and the more severe it is. An important point is, elevated levels of BNP is also seen in renal failure whether or not heart failure is present. Similar to BNP, higher N-terminal 
pro BNP levels are generally indicative of more severe heart failure. The next cardiac marker is C-reactive protein. C-reactive protein is an inflammatory marker that may be elevated in individuals with a higher risk of cardiovascular disease. C-reactive protein is a protein made by the liver. CRP test is more suggestive for the risk of heart disease. This test is used to identify any infection, helping to diagnose a chronic inflammatory disease such as rheumatoid arthritis or lupus and to identify the risk of heart disease. A high level of HSCRP in the blood has been linked to an increased risk of heart attacks. The next cardiac marker is lactate dehydrogenase. LDH is an enzyme present in various tissues including the heart, liver, kidneys, skeletal muscles, and red blood cells. The main function of lactate dehydrogenase is energy production by converting lactate to pyruvate. Normal levels of LDH in the blood can vary depending on the lab, but usually it ranges between 140 units per liter to 280 units per liter for adults. LDH is measured through a blood test to evaluate tissue damage or disease. Elevated LDH levels can indicate cellular damage or injury such as in cases of myocardial infarction, liver disease, muscle injury or certain cancers. The next cardiac marker is aspartate aminotransferase that is AST. AST also called SGOT is an enzyme found in the liver, heart, skeletal muscles and other tissues. And this is one of the common liver function tests. The main function of aspartate aminotransferase is amino acid metabolism. The indications for AST test involves measuring the levels of this enzyme in the blood, which is mainly indicated in liver function assessment, heart muscle damage, skeletal muscle injury. Normal level of AST is between 10 to 40 international units per liter in adults. Elevated levels is seen in conditions involving heart muscle damage such as myocardial infarction, liver disease and skeletal muscle injury. So, so far we have discussed what are cardiac markers and what is cardiac marker test and where it is indicated and the different cardiac markers and their functions and normal ranges. And remember, as explained before, cardiac enzyme levels may vary from place to place according to the laboratory tests and hence follow the institutional policies. So here you go with cardiac enzymes. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.